In this video, I will discuss the fibula bone in detail. Fibula bone is the bone of the leg. It is smaller in size and lateral in position compared with the tibia bone. The fibula bone is homologous with the ulna bone of the upper limb. Now we came to the site determination of the fibula bone. For the site determination, you have to remember three important points. First one is that in the proximal end, the articular facet for the tibia bone should be on the anterior and medial position. The lateral malleolus should be on the lateral side. And the third most important point is that in the distal end, this is the malleolar fossa and it should be on the posterior side. So making the articular facet in the proximal end anterior medial position, the lateral malleolus on the lateral side and the malleolar fossa on the posterior side. So this is the right fibula bone. Now if you consider this right fibula bone as the left one, so first major mistake is that the malleolar fossa is on the anterior side the lateral malleolus is on the lateral side in the proximal end the articular facet for the tibia comes on the posterior side so this is the right fibula bone now we came to the features of the fibula bone the fibula bone has the upper end lower end and a shaft in the middle the upper end is expanded in all directions and this is the main important point to differentiate the upper end from the lower end the lower end is expanded only and only in the anterior posterior position as you can see this is expanded in the anterior and posterior position while the lower end is not that much expanded in the mediolateral direction. In the upper end, this is the articular facet for the tibia bone and through this it articulate with the lateral condyle of the tibia bone. You can clearly see now the articulation of the fibula bone with the lateral condyle of the tibia bone. This is the head of the fibula bone, neck of the fibula bone and in the upper end of the fibula bone there is one more important and interesting bony landmark which is the apex. This is the apex of the fibula bone. The neck of the fibula bone is continuous with the shaft. The shaft of the fibula bone has three borders and three surfaces we have the interior border medial or interosseous border and the posterior border now when you hold the fibula bone in anatomical position this is the interior border beside the interior border on the medial side this is the medial or interosseous border and on the posterior side this is the posterior border now here is one important point that you should know about the fibula bone in the fibula bone the medial border is the interosseous border while in the tibia bone the lateral border is the interosseous border so both of these two interosseous border of the leg are in front of each other and in between these two interosseous border runs the interosseous membrane now we came to the three surfaces of the fibula bone. Between the anterior border and the interosseous border is present the medial surface. And the characteristics of the medial surface is that it is narrow in its upper part and expand downward. As you can clearly see here, it is narrow in its upper part and expand downward. Between the interosseous border and the posterior border is present the posterior surface 
and this is the largest of all the three surfaces on the shaft of the fibula bone this oblique line is called the medial crust and the medial crust divide the posterior surface into upper two third and the lower one third the last surface is the lateral surface and the lateral surface is present between the posterior border and the anterior border what is interesting about the lateral surface is that it is twisted in its lower part as you can clearly see here this hole is the lateral surface and it is twisted in its lower part now we came to the distal end of the fibula bone in the distal end this is the lateral malleolus which is palpable this is the articular facet and through this it articulate with the talus bone of ankle as you can clearly see here this is the talus bone articulating with the fibula bone in the distal end a fossa is present called the malleolar fossa and this malleolar fossa is in posterior position that's all about the fibula bone thank you